All right, and welcome back, folks. We are in game number one of our second semifinals match. Looks like we're going to have a ZVZ uh, against uh, Get Dead Please, and he's going to be asking for that against the Fearful um, on Shakura's Plateau, I think, that we're playing on, and they're going to be spawning in the close-by air positions, uh, but a uh, long way by running positions, though. Yeah, and um, it is an extremely long way, like, I mean, it takes like a minute and a half to get to your opponent's base. It's a really, really long distance. And uh, we see that there is the early scout going out for uh, Get Dead, Please. He's going to be scouting cross positions. Yep. And this is a really great map. A lot of players really love this. And, and really, it's a good map for ZVZ as well, too. It's a hard to cheese on this map. Um, with these two uh, Zelnaga Towers, you can basically see anything that's going on, anything that your opponent... Um, comes at you with so unless it's an air attack you're going to uh, know a little bit ahead of time and also a lot of zergs do not plant their creep down because it can give your opponent the same advantage that you have as well too so be, be uh, ready to see a lot of overlords just floating around each other's bases uh, without, uh, without any challenge so both are going to have a lot of air superiority they both check the right places at the right times both of them are coming across. As a matter of fact, both of them send their overlords to uh, look at each other, and they both send their drones in the same place as well, too. So they both know uh, where each other's at. Yeah, and uh, really, a really, really early gas for uh, Get Dead, please. Uh, going to be seeing the spawning pool coming up now. That gas is going to be really early. He's going to have a lot more than uh, 100 when it pops. I'm not sure what that's about. Never seen that. Yeah, it, it's really not that uncommon. I have seen that um, recently. A lot of players are getting their, their gas on 14 and their pool on 14 as well, too, or even 15 sometimes. Um, it just gets the speedlings out all that much faster, especially like we were talking about how long that it takes to get out there. It's really not a bad plan. And uh, and really, he's not going to be that far down. You can see that the spawning pools are going to pop at just about the same time as well, too. He's only going to be... No, they're even, even on drones right now. So uh, not much of a disadvantage. Players have started going to that. I mean, it, when it seems the gas was down a lot faster, I mean, usually I see gas, and then before the gas finishes, the pool goes down, but the gas had finished, and he had put drones on, and then there was still about a 10-second delay from the pool. Yep. Really not sure what that was all about, uh, but I guess he knows he's a higher rank than me, so <laughs> and it he looks, knows what's up. Yeah, and it looks like we're getting quick banes out as well for, uh, for Get Dead, Please. And uh, get uh, and then versus the metabolic boost. So we know that there's not going to be any roaches coming out real fast for uh, the tear f the the fearful because he wouldn't be getting the metabolic boost. And uh, did he just? Oh, that was a. Uh, did get dead try to pull the the Vespian geyser there? I must have been not been looking, but um, that's pretty interesting. You don't usually see um, a gas still for a zerg versus zerg. Yeah, and. Uh... Uh, he's still mining away at the gas to get dead is he has a lot and a lot of gas he might be trying to just go massive amount of bane links there is uh oh no get dead is going in the wrong direction if he wants to see that expansion sorry get, sorry for interrupting there go ahead and finish your thought but uh, just notice that yeah i was just uh going to say that there is no expansion down for uh get dead himself so it looks like he's going to be some kind of one base uh maybe all in cheesy kind of play he does get an overlord taken out so now he's supply blocked yep this this may not be. Oh, he does scout the uh, baneling nest. So let's see if the uh, roaches come out here soon. Oh, he's moving out with zerglings very quickly. He knows he's got the supply block on. Uh, he's gonna have to build. He's having to build a lot of those uh, overlords, and he's running in as quickly as he can. But uh, get dead. Yeah, he he was actually he actually noticed that and uh, built banelings almost immediately. And these yeah, are gonna get surrounded. Oh, and he's going to lose those bangles, and he needs to cancel those quick because they are going to die, and they do. Not much here to block it, and uh, that queen's not even coming out. He's going to start taking out the queen to get all the supply, and then he's going to go after the drones. The banelings are going to come in. He's going to be... Uh, let's see if those queens block it off. No, not yet, but I think if, if the queens are smart, he's going to try to show, soak all that damage, and he does move the drones off in time. No, he's going to lose those drones, and he needs to explode them now, but he's not. Oh, he does take out several of those. But uh, now you can see, yeah, definitely a very good game. He did wipe out that entire base. Wow. Yeah, sometimes those games do go really fast. And once that um, 
Mainling Les got Ness got uh, detected. He moved out immediately. He knew he was in, in bad shape. He didn't have any roaches out. He had the he had the zergling speed, and he had to take advantage of that right away because he knew that his opponent didn't have the speed upgrade. And whenever you build a, a, a 1.5, whenever you build that next expansion, um, if you don't have that, then uh, you you're a little bit of advantage. And it looks like that uh, that advantage got taken care of definitely.